Today I fucked up by throwing up immediately after the first kiss with my date. I went on a date with A this girl last week. Last night was our second date. She's from Colombia and I'd never had Colombian food. So she takes me to a restaurant and the food tasted really good. But part of what I ate was chicharrones. A few minutes after finishing, I start to feel off. She was able to recognize something wasn't right, but just assumed I was tired. As we leave I can feel it getting worse, so I try moving things along so she leaves before I blow. Saying our goodbyes we get our first kiss, and immediately I feel it coming. Pull off, turn around, and instantly puke into a nearby trash can. She runs back in the restaurant for sparkling water, and between that and gum I was good to go after. Thankfully we were able to laugh it off and she still kissed me afterwards and we're going out again this weekend. At least I know she's still into me. Too long didn't read, tried Colombian food on a date, ended up throwing up from it, immediately after our first kiss. Now makes for a really funny date story. Why did the chicharrones make you sick? It should be deep fried, so no food poisoning. Sometimes it can be the fat or grease that can make your stomach upset especially if you're not used to it. If it makes you feel any better, my now GF also threw up on our first date. We were eating and also both really nervous at the time and said she felt uneasy. I asked if she wanted to use the bathroom but she said I don't think I'll make it. At this point I had no idea what she meant by uneasy. For all I know she could have wanted to pee. While I was thinking about why she was sick, she just said I think him going to throw up. As soon as she finished that sentence, she made the there's no turning back. I'm going to puke face. Somehow, to this day I'm clueless to how this happened but, I saw everything in slow motion. In this slow motion world, I pulled out a bag from the food we ordered and placed it around her mouth and managed to get 90% of the vomit in the bag. I felt like I was in the matrix for half a second. To that she felt bad for throwing up on our first date but now she feels really comfortable with me knowing I'm okay with what happened. Everyone has weird stomach stuff every now and then. Just hope you're with someone understanding when it happens. She'll never forget that first kiss. Keeper. You're the real life Stan Marsh, bro. Today I fucked up by using a free trial version of an app. I've had online classes for grad school since August and I often used my phone for it. A few days ago, I decided to use my laptop for Zoom. However, since my laptop has a shitty camera, I decided to connect my phone for the camera through an app. Everything was fine. Until I got called for recitations. I was confidently answering our lecturer's questions when he suddenly asked who's that person announcing free trial over and over. And then he laughed. A few of my friends sent me a private message telling me they were laughing their asses off. As it turns out, when you unmute the mic, the app overrides the system and plays an audio recording announcing that it's a free trial version. Skull, 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 skull. Skull, Skull. One of my classmates even informed me after class that the free trial announcement was louder and clearer than my voice when I was reciting. Everyone heard it. Everyone ee. -e. I want to cry, underscore, TLDR, used a free trial version of a camera app for an online class. Turns out it announces to everyone it's just a free trial version when the mic is turned on. Assert dominance, next time you're on and have to recite, start off by yelling, free trial. Free trial. Assuming you've paid or have a better work around. What an asshole app design. A slash asshole design. Don't worry even if you forget this. The internet and your friends will eternally remember you for this. Good job XD. That seems like a moronic strategy if it doesn't also announce it to you. It'll just embarrass the user and piss them off. The point is to shame people into buying. You know that it's a free trial so telling you is pointless. Today I fucked up by not knowing where my property lines are. We bought a new house in January. It was mostly because of the outdoor space that we fell in love with it. In England, gardens can be quite small and sunshine limited so you generally only get sun in the morning or afternoon depending on which way your house faces. So this house, with its glorious, 
Huge garden that wraps around was a gem find. House has needed some work and we are getting there. New carpets, converted the garage into a playroom for the kids but because of this, we only had space for one car on our drive. So we decided to get the curb dropped and pave the drive. British villages can be bloody nightmares for street parking, just with the number of terraced houses. The way my street is laid out, there are a handful of detached houses on my side and at least three times the number of terraced house opposite. This means that parking is a bitch. Our new parking space would give us space for both our cars, and space for an extra car, for all the visitors we can't have, because I live in the north and we are all infectious according to Bojo. So the lovely guys come and clear our space and I'm handing out some tea and biscuits to them when my neighbor walks up his drive nonchalantly says to me part of that is my land i don't mind though and walks into his house panic i check the deeds and it shows that the property line goes to his garage which has a drive attached i go look obscured by the hedge planted by our predecessors i can now see the garage and drive are not aligned we have dug up a grand total of three inches of their land it's a ridiculous thing done by the original builders who didn't match up the neighbor's drive to their full garage width I was appalled with myself. I went round the next day with a cake and an apology and asked how they wanted me to fix it. He looked at me like I was speaking French and said along the lines of the following. I've been here 50 years and always thought it was done by some jobs worth who was sick of making driveways. I just wanted to let you know in case you ever want to sell. Do what you like with it, the wife doesn't know what to do with me let alone another three inches. So we are marking the line with a different tile to make it obvious it isn't our property and my neighbor is a champ. TL Doctor I dug up three inches of my neighbor's land and we resolved it British style. Gave him cake to say sorry, he made a joke and jobs are good and you have an awesome neighbor. I live in the US and own a garage door installation company. I've been on job sites where a concrete company poured too far and over and the customer was chewing motherfuckers out. Luckily I just install and fix garage doors so I don't have to deal with all that. Few things in life are more satisfying than being able to say don't blame me, I just work here. The wife doesn't know what to do with me, let alone another 3 inches. Gold. You are very very lucky to have the cool guy as your neighbor. I, he's a man of few words but I'm grateful they were friendly ones. Here's a fun story about how this could have gone poorly. My in-laws live in a house next to a small apartment complex. The company that manages the apartments hired someone to trim a tree in the back lot. The tree trimmer managed to drop a limb on the chain link fence between the two properties, mangling part of it in the process. My father-in-law was irate and starts cursing up a storm. He contacts the property manager and demands that he fix his fence. The property manager informs him that they will talk to the tree trimmer about paying for the fence since they caused the damage. We felt like this was fair. Damage was only to a small part of the fence and it was still more or less functional anyway. My Phil disagreed, continued calling the property manager and demanding that they fix the fence immediately. It was at this point that the property manager had enough and decided to inform my Phil that they would fix the fence in their own time because it was their property. This drove my Phil off the deep end. He was throwing fits, insisting that the fence was his, etc. To countless time spent arguing over who the fence belonged to, he decided he would put an end to it once and for all. So my Phil paid to have a surveyor come out and definitively determine where the property lines are, so that he could sue the property management company into fixing this, mind you, I'm pretty sure this cost was more than it would have been to just repair the fence. So the surveyor comes out, and determines that, not only is the fence not on my Phil's property, but neither is his driveway. He began to throw yet another fit when we told him, politely, to shut his fucking mouth. Lucky, years long feuds have happened over simple things like that. Oh hell, I know. Hence the initial panic. I'm glad Cake helped the situation, but if they were dicks we could have been in a world of hurt. I'm not sure if the fact his wife is medically housebound played into it. When we moved in, I took some flapjacks over to meet them and as I was on maternity leave at the time told her to call if she ever needed anything, because I'd likely be home and could get there quicker than most others. Iceness comes around sometimes.